Good morning. Merry Christmas. We have one week till Christmas. <laughs> that means two weeks for a new year. And it's so relevant in today's Bible study. We're on December the 18th of 2017. And we're starting Habakkuk, um, or however you say that. How do you say it? Habakkuk. Habakkuk. How, I say it. How do you say it? Habakkuk. Habakkuk. How do you no. say it? Good morning. Habakkuk. 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 Habakkuk.
that full force ahead, you know, straight ahead, not looking back, success is before me, prosperity is before me, glory is before me, and there's many scriptures that tells me that. Um, the best is yet to come. <clears throat> um, so he may run who reads it. And so I, that's what has encouraged me that, and there's other places too, they talk about writing it down, um, that I try to journal. I'm not the best at it. I, there's many of you out there that's so much better at journaling than I am. But when God speaks to you, when something significant happens, you know, we see miracles all the time. God answers our prayers. All the, I love our prayer journal at this table right here um, because we share prayer requests, but then we, then we share praise reports as well. And it's, it's amazing when you take time to write down what your prayer requests are, you go back and review that and just check off how many of those prayer requests have been answered with time. Um, if the same thing happens when you journal, God speaks a word to you. He tells you something. He, he gives you a scripture in the, at just the right moment that you need it. Um, and and then, you know, you reach a dry spell, which all of us do, that we are, wow, Lord, I haven't gotten a fresh word for you in a while. I, golly, I'm making this big decision. Am I making the right one? And you go back and review your journal, and it will refresh you. But this is what I really wanted to go with this. So I love it. This happens every year on December the 18th. If you're reading this version, and I've read this version for many, 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 many years, that. December the 18th, there's two weeks till the end of this year. Um, 2017 is winding down. Um, the year's coming to a close. Now the calendar is ours, but God honors it for us. Um, it's a good time for us to stop and reflect on this year. And, and I really want the emphasis to be more on a grateful journal. What do we have to be grateful for in the year 2017? The, 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 word, the uh, number seven is for completion. And I know for me spiritually that God has completed some things that he had started working on me many years through. And I feel, and we're, I'm not saying I've arrived yet. Please don't misunderstand me. I'm, I've not arrived, but wow, I've stepped into a new level of faith, a new level of abiding in him that I, I quite frankly never even knew existed. I'm so grateful. Um, you know, I've always said in the 18 years I've had my heart back right with the Lord that I would never go back to the other way of living because of, of my peace of mind I have now. I, I won't give up the peace I have. I can have peace in the midst of the worst storms when I seek him and I recenter on Christ in me. And and I, I can remember those days of having trouble sleeping at night. I remember those days that my mind would go a thousand miles an hour and I couldn't rest. Um, I couldn't rest even the, in the middle of the night, let alone during the day when everything was happening. And I don't ever want to go back there. But I know 2017 has taken me to a brand new level. Fear doesn't reign in my life like it used to. Um, so many things that God has given me some answers for. And and I know the best is yet to come. I mean, I haven't even scratched the surface of the glory that God has for all of us. He's no respecter of persons. But anyway, uh, every year I try to summarize that year. And I, I want the emphasis to be on blessings. But also don't hesitate to, to journal and, and summarize the struggles of the year. And I've had my struggles this year um, because that's what God's got us through. Uh, but summarize your year. And it's so cool to go back and look at the years that you've summarized. Wow. And what a legacy you'll leave for your children uh, and grandchildren um, to have those things written down. So uh, um, I think it's scrip scriptural for us to write it down. And then I'm, I'm going to speak on this and I'll touch on it from now through the end of the year. Uh, I also want you to pray and ask God to give you a word, a word, one word, maybe two words, but usually it's one word for me. Uh, last year it was courage. Um, uh, last year this time I lost a, a first cousin of mine, a young man. He was uh, 22 years old. To, I, I lost him to leukemia. We lost his physical presence to leukemia, and it was a tough, tough time. And he gave me Joshua 1.9, um, which just happened to be, and I didn't know it. I did not know that that was the scripture that his mom and dad used when they named him Joshua. 
<clears throat> and um, so anyway, I, I think you guys can tell how powerful that was for me. The word courage, and then and then I prayed for my scripture, and it was Joshua one nine. And then it wasn't until the funeral that I found out that they named him Joshua from Joshua 1 9. You see how connected we can be? <coughs> I mean, and his sister and I to this day, we use Joshua 1 9 interchangeably with each other, and we just know. We just know what we're talking about. And, and it goes deeper. It, it is all Joshua is entwined with us. You know, we and he are one. If I'm one with him and he's one with you, that means I'm one with you. Joshua and I are one. Love that young man. Um, very hard to see him suffer the way he did. And, um, and so we're one. And so those scriptures took on a whole new life uh, for me. And, and that was what he gave me in around November last year. And then this year, he's given me the word bountiful. Uh, and I think it has to do with his acknowledgement for me that I've stepped into something brand a new dimension in the spiritual realm with him that I'm and what it is is I'm dying to myself more and more it's not about me it doesn't have to look like what I want it to look like 2018 I want it to be 100% written by God um, I want to do my part but you know what? Years pass. I wanted the year, the new year to look the way I want. Do you know I ended up fighting on New Year's Eve um, with some people that I love? So many times I would argue with them and get into a little conflict with them because I always wanted the ending of that year to be, to look like this. And when it didn't go the way I wanted it to look, I was disappointed, I couldn't be happy, and because I'm not happy, unhappy people want other people to be unhappy. And I made other people unhappy. Now I'm telling you, these are insights God's given me many years down the road to look back and reflect on something that had to come out of me. I was the cause of that. In those days that it happened, I would have told you it was all them. It was their fault that every New Year's Eve ended roughly, that the years ended, and I'm talking several in a row, ended badly, but he has showed me how I set my expectation that it had, to, and I used to do that for most holidays. I mean, I, oh, I, I'd have the Christmas music playing. I decorated every room in the house. I mean, my, I, by golly, my house was going to be full of Christmas joy. <laughs> And you know, we just decorated, finished decorating the tree last night. And I only have one tree up. There was a time I had, oh, I've got two trees up, but not because I did it. <laughs> <laughs> there was a time I would have, if I'd have had the money, literally, I would have had a Christmas tree in every room. But it was because it had to be the way I thought it needed to be. And, and, and because I've, Learn, I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm not there yet, guys, but I'm learning to release it. I want 2018, which signifies new beginnings, fresh starts. I want it to be all God wants it to be. Nothing more, nothing less. I want his plan to be the path that I follow. And, and, and see how this works is as I release in the spirit world and say, Lord, it's not about me. It's all about you. Then he pours back into me and I act based on what he's pouring into me instead of acting on my flesh. And it's because I have a part. It's through faith. It's through faith that we activate the goodness of God. It's by faith. We activate the goodness of God in our lives. And that's how it's going to manifest. And so anyway, I'll say all this because I didn't want anybody to get the wrong impression about my word bountiful. It has nothing to do with riches. It has everything to do with riches, but it has nothing to do with riches. It has to do with a very powerful spiritual thing that's in me that I'm releasing my, my need to have it my way. I'm also releasing all fear that would have kept that at bay and has kept it at bay for a long time in my life. I'm releasing that. No more. We bind those things on earth that's uh, supposed to be bound. We loose those things in heaven that's, loose, that's supposed to be loosed here on earth. And I call those things that are not as though they are. I walk by faith and not by sight. 
And those are all the things I'm trying to do that I believe God is guiding me to do as I release. And as he pours in me, I get my word, my word for 2018. And then I'm going to ask him to give me scriptures. He's given me a couple, two or three, but none of them that's just stuck out for me. And you wouldn't believe how many times I've got my scriptures for the next year just through reading in this right here. I've, I've gotten some other times, other places, but the faithfulness that we have to this, he rewards. I'm telling you, he rewards. When we're doing it with the right heart and we're doing it because we love him, because we want to know him more, um, he rewards that. And so I just encourage you, write down your summary of 2017. Ask God for a word. I ask him to help you write your summary, first of all. Let him write it. You just be the instrument, the pen that he uses to write it down. Ask him for your word, and then ask him for scriptures to back it up for your new year, and then ask him to help you write goals, not New Year's resolutions, right. um, just goals, goals that'll stretch you uh, for 2018, um, personal goals, spiritual goals, business goals, financial goals, family goals, relationship, whatever. I mean, let God, let God, let, let go and let God because, and the Lord answered me, write the vision, make it plain on tablets so he may run who reads it. So Merry Christmas. Uh, thanks for joining me and we'll talk again tomorrow. You know, it's funny because Blaine and I were just in the truck the other night and we, we were just, you know, they're not, oh, we're always out here.